We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus, the name above all names, the name that is a strong tower, the righteous run into it, and they are saved. God is good, my dear friend, and God is with you. He loves you, and if you follow him, he will lead you to the place that you need to be in order to make it through. He will lead you to the place that you need to be in order to be happy. God leads his children and the wise listen. It's so important that when God speaks to us and gives us direction, we are sensitive to his voice and we are willing to listen to what he has to say. I want to speak to you about this today and I encourage you listen to the whole message. It is very important and it will save you from trouble in your life. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in and help us to receive from the Father even today. I ask this in Jesus' name. My dear friend, as we grow older, as born-again believers, as we grow in knowledge and wisdom, we start to realize the importance of making the right choices. Younger individuals don't necessarily focus on this as much as those who have been through life and have experienced the brutality that life can actually bring at you. With this being said, it is so important that all that we do is done in wisdom. There are multiple options of how your life can go. And all those options have good sides and bad sides. Just to be a bit more clear, all those options of the way your life can go have good things that you'll experience and really bad things that you don't want to experience. And making the right decision at the right time is so important so that you choose the right way the right way to go so that you will enjoy a life with the blessing of God with joy with happiness with peace this is why it's so important to listen to God's leading and God's guidance because God is alive, He speaks and He lives. And He is not a God who will just watch His child going the wrong way. God brings warnings many times. But the problem is we ignore those warnings or we don't take note of them. Or we ignore His voice when He's warning us and saying, don't do this. Be careful. There's danger ahead. And when we don't listen to his voice and his leading and his guidance, there's high probability that your life could take a turn into a place where things are not good. It is so important that we listen to his voice. Wisdom in making choices is so important. And it is wisdom for someone who is a born-again believer, saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, to take heed to the instruction of his or her God who speaks and he lives. It is wisdom to listen to your Heavenly Father when he tells you to do something or not to do it. It is wisdom to consult and inquire of him concerning the various things that we want to do in life. God gives us a choice in everything. And the choices that we make determine the outcome in the long run. And it's important that we make good choices today 
so that we can have a good future tomorrow. The Bible says, Behold, I set before you life and death. And God even recommends, therefore choose life. And choosing life is being willing to listen when God is speaking. There are certain things that we want and we desire in our life. And we want them so much, so badly. That when God speaks and says, don't do it, don't go that way. We sort of ignore his voice or we don't listen sometimes. It's important for us to learn to actually be submissive and submitted to the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because he will lead us and he will protect us. The more I grow in my faith and the more I walk with the Lord and learn from him, the more I learn the importance of being willing and obedient when God speaks. With the decisions that you need to make, especially for the crucial decisions in your life, if I had to name a few, the place where you stay, the person you marry, decisions at work, decisions in your business, decisions of what to buy, what not to buy, where to go, big decisions, 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 decisions that affect your life. It is very important to inquire from God. Ask God who is available and He's always listening. Ask Him His opinion. Ask Him to lead and guide you. Ask Him, is this your will? Confirm with Him. Inquire of Him. Ask Him, Father, do you want me to go this way? Is it okay? Is it a green light or is it a red light? At the traffic lights, when the light is red, you stop. It means don't go because if you go, there's other cars passing. If you keep on going past that red light, you could end up in accident. In the same way in life, sometimes God will give us green lights and red lights. And it's so important that we are able to discern when God gives us the go-ahead, the green light, when God says, no, don't go there. In this way, you will set yourself up to have a life that is blessed, a life that results in true happiness and thanking God that you didn't go the wrong way. Thanking God that you didn't make any foolish decisions because you were willing to submit before Him and listen to Him and His guidance and His will. You see, when you follow the will of God, the Bible doesn't say you won't face hardships. The Bible doesn't say hard times won't come. But because you are walking in the will of God, you can be rest assured that life will be good. God will see you through even that trial. God will deliver you. God will make a way for you because you are walking in His will. If God brought you to it, He will see you through it. It's important that we develop the ability to listen and hear what God is saying. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray for you that the voice of the Holy Spirit will be amplified and magnified in your life, so much so that you will know what God is saying in the now. And you'll be able to apply that and go forward in power. In saying that, let us begin by praising God. Father, we praise you and we thank you for another day that you've given us. A wonderful day to live to the fullest. A wonderful day to press on. A wonderful day to receive from you. A wonderful day. A brand new day. A day that we can spend with our family and friends. A day that we can make the right decisions. And set ourselves up for a good tomorrow. A day that we can take heed to your voice and your instruction as you lead us into all truth, as you give us life. As your word comes to us, it brings life. 
And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is peace. There is joy. We give you praise and we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My dear friend, as I pray for you, it'll be a short prayer. But there is power in prayer. There is power in the name of Jesus. It is not about the number of words that you mention in prayer that brings about the result. But it is the faith and the connection and relationship that you have with God. I encourage you as I pray for you, connect in faith, comment and agree, believe and receive. Father, I pray for my dear friend, even right now. I pray that you will amplify and magnify the voice of your Holy Spirit within them. My dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, give my dear friend peace in the areas where you give them a green light. And wherever there is any place that my dear friend is going to go, or decision that my dear friend is going to make that will be bad or detrimental to their future, speak to my dear friend and warn my dear friend. And let my dear friend hear, hear you clearly. Give us the grace to be willing and obedient, that we may eat the best of the land, I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. God bless you. God be with you, my dear friend, and God keep you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and forevermore, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you, and goodbye.